The Seattle Sounders on the verge of history, a wild finish in Toronto, and some players on the move next on The Daily. Welcome to The Daily. It is Thursday, July 12th with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Jason Seguini. Three big games last night. We now know the finals of the U.S. Open Cup, and we had a crazy one up in Toronto. We're going to start, though, in Seattle because the Seattle Sounders could be the first team to ever win the U.S. Open Cup four straight times. Andrew, a convincing victory over Chivas USA. Yeah, 4-1 at Starfire Sports Complex, and all the talk afterwards was about that possibility of making history. And I think the general message was that Seattle's not going to be satisfied just to have that opportunity. They want to get it done, and there were some comments from Siggy Schmidt saying, you know, we would have sold out completely Central League Field. Maybe a little sour grapes about that uh, bidding process, but they'll be going to Kansas City, and they'll be having a chance against a team that's had some really good matchups with them for the last two years. Chivas USA, where are the goals? That's the question for them after this one. All right, well, you mentioned it. They will be going to Kansas City. That's because Kansas City were 2-0 victors over the Philadelphia Union at PPL Park. The first goal, I think Zach McMath would like to have that one back. Yeah, you could say that again. And he said as much after the game saying, you know, that's definitely one I should have got to. And that was really a game changer for the for the Union in this one. At that point, nil-nil, kind of a scuffling game. Both sides very, very physical in their play and not a whole lot of chances. Once that happened though, Philly on the back foot just couldn't get it done and then McMath punished in uh, the late stages there by Graham Zeus when he was out of his net. Uh, but for Kansas City, that, that physical play is going to come back and haunt him a little bit. Aurelian Collin got his third yellow card of the tournament. He will not be available in that final and that's a big blow for a sporting Kansas City side looking to get their first trophy since 2004. Yeah, and they'll have that opportunity at Livestrong Sporting Park on August 8th. That's when the final of the U.S. Open Cup is. You can see that on Fox Soccer Channel. The other matchup of the night was up in Toronto. Vancouver came to town, and what a wild game it was, Andrew. Darren Maddox scored what might have been the goal of the week, phenomenally out-jumping everybody on Toronto, but it wasn't enough in the end. No, Terry Dunfield, the former Vancouver man, in fact, they traded him to Toronto almost exactly a year ago in stoppage time, comes up with a huge header, and boy, was he happy after that one. You could see it on his face. Five goals in the second half, a barn burner in this one, uh, but a huge win for Toronto FC after so many struggles finishing off games. Yeah, Torsten Frings and Luis Silva also getting on the board for Toronto in this win. The Vancouver Whitecaps were without one player last night because Davide Cumiento has been transferred out of MLS. He is headed to Zurich now. Vancouver, it was always an up and down affair with Cumiento and the Vancouver coaching staff, so they finally send him away. Yeah, they're losing one of their most creative players, though, and this one's going to be hard for them to uh, replace. There's been times this year where that defense has been dominating. Mm -hmm. The one question mark consistently has been where are the goals going to come from. We're starting to see Darren Maddox, but the guy that's going to pull those strings is no longer going to be there. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Barry Robson. He's definitely going to have to step up and be more of that attacking guy rather than box to box. We'll see how how they adjust, but Cumiento saying you know, he kind of wanted to stay. He didn't. He didn't get the right vibes though, and he had to think about his future. So uh, he's out there in Vancouver. All right. Well, one more player who is moving this one from Canada to Real Salt Lake. He leaves Montreal Impact. It's Justin Braun. He's going home of sorts to Salt Lake, where he's from. Yeah. Jason Christ saying when you have an opportunity to get a proven goal scorer in the league. You pull the trigger on that one, a 2014 conditional pick, so we don't yet know where that one will end up, likely based on his performance. But uh, Braun just didn't ever get an opportunity to really make his mark in Montreal. Maybe he'll get that one with RSL. Yeah, two hat tricks last year, so he's shown the ability to get on the board. A couple of reminders, Extra Time Radio will come out later today. You can get that on iTunes or Buzzsprout, or go to MLSsoccer.com slash Extra Time for all the information on that. And also, Andrew, the Opta Spotlight comes out. What should they expect? Yeah, we're breaking down who the top two candidates for the MVP are here at midseason. They're pretty obvious ones, but we get into the nuts and bolts of why those guys deserve those nods. All right, check out MLSsoccer.com all day for all your news and info on Major League Soccer. We'll be back on The Daily tomorrow.